Are you brave enough to try one of the world's smelliest foods? Sir strumming, often hailed as one of the world's most pungent foods, is a traditional Swedish delicacy. The fermented herring has been a staple in Sweden for centuries, and while its strong odor might deter the faint-hearted, it remains a beloved dish in Swedish culture. But what exactly is Sir strumming? How did it come to be, and what does the production process entail? In this video, we'll explore the origins of surströmming, delve into the intricate process of its fermentation, and discuss the machinery involved in its production. Surströmming, translated as sour herring, has its roots in northern Sweden, particularly along the coast of the Gulf of Bothnia. It dates back to the 16th century when methods of food preservation were crucial for survival during long, harsh winters. During this period, salting fish was a common practice, but salt was expensive and often in limited supply. The Swedes discovered that by using a smaller amount of salt, the fish could ferment instead of rotting. This fermentation process allowed the fish to be preserved for extended periods while providing a unique flavor profile. One popular legend suggests that Swedish sailors brought back the practice from their travels. Due to the scarcity of salt, they had no choice but to partially salt the herring, leading to the fermentation process. Whether this story is factual or not, what remains clear is that the technique stuck and surströmming became a cultural cornerstone of Swedish cuisine. By the 17th century, surströmming had gained popularity across Sweden, especially in the northern regions. It was primarily consumed during the spring and summer when fresh herring could be caught and the fermented batch from the previous year was ready to eat. The production of Sir Strumming involves a careful fermentation process that transforms fresh herring into the distinctive fermented dish it is known for. Here is a step-by-step -step breakdown of how Sir Strumming is made. Sir Strumming begins with the harvest of Baltic herring, or Clupea herringus membris, a smaller, milder cousin of the Atlantic herring. Once caught, the herring is gutted, removing the internal organs while leaving the roe and milt intact. These parts are vital for the fermentation process, contributing to the flavor and texture of the final product. In modern production, gutting machines are often used to speed up the gutting process. These machines automate the removal of unwanted parts while ensuring that the roe and milt remain intact. This equipment is crucial for large-scale production, where thousands of herring must be processed in a short period. Once gutted, the herring is soaked in a salt brine solution. The key to Sir Strumming's fermentation lies in the precise ratio of salt used. Instead of preserving the fish with a high salt concentration, like in pickling, only a minimal amount of salt is used. This allows lactic acid bacteria naturally present in the fish to break down proteins and sugars over time, initiating the fermentation process. Brine mixing machines are vital in this stage. These machines prepare the brine with precise salt to water ratios, ensuring consistency across each batch of herring. A controlled salinity level is essential to ensure the proper fermentation environment and prevent spoilage. The brined herring is next placed into large fermentation tanks where it undergoes the initial stages of fermentation. The tanks maintain a temperature range between 15 to 20 degrees Celsius or 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, ideal for lactic acid bacteria to thrive. Over several weeks, the bacteria convert sugars and proteins in the fish into lactic acid, which preserves the fish and imparts its distinctively sour flavor. During fermentation, gases such as hydrogen sulfide are produced, which gives sur strumming its notorious smell. This fermentation process continues for six to eight weeks. Modern fermentation tanks, typically made of stainless steel, are used to store the brined herring. 
these tanks allow for careful control of temperature and humidity, ensuring the optimal environment for fermentation. In traditional production, wooden barrels may be used, but stainless steel tanks are more practical for large-scale manufacturing due to their durability and easier regulation of fermentation conditions. Once the initial fermentation is complete, the fish is removed from the tanks and canned. However, fermentation does not stop at this stage. Surströmming continues to ferment inside the sealed cans, producing gas over time, which causes the cans to bulge slightly. This is a critical step, as improperly canned fish could spoil or even cause health risks. The fish is typically left to age in the cans for several months, during which time the flavor and aroma intensify. Canning machines play a crucial role here. These machines automatically seal the cans with high-pressure closures to ensure no air enters or leaks from the can, keeping the fermentation environment anaerobic. This also allows the internal gas pressure to build safely as the bacteria continue to produce gas during fermentation. High-quality canning machines are equipped to handle this gas buildup, preventing the cans from bursting or spoiling. As the fermentation process continues inside the sealed cans, gases such as carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide are produced, causing the can to swell. While this is normal, producers must carefully monitor gas levels to ensure that the cans don't explode due to excess pressure. Gas pressure monitors are used during this phase to keep track of the internal pressure inside each can. These monitors ensure that the pressure remains within safe limits and that the cans remain sealed tightly. Once the sur strumming has finished fermenting in the cans, it is ready for distribution. The cans are labeled and packaged for sale, with warnings sometimes included about the strong smell when opening. Sur strumming is typically eaten outdoors due to the intense odor which can permeate the air and surrounding environments. Labeling and packaging machines are used in the final stage of production. These machines apply labels containing product information, brand details, and expiration dates. Automated packaging systems also wrap and box the cans for shipment, protecting them from damage during transportation. Special packaging may also be required to prevent leakage or damage as the cans are more fragile due to the internal gas buildup. While sur strumming is safe to eat when produced properly, the fermentation process requires careful management to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. Botulism, for example, is a serious concern in fermented foods if the salt content is too low or the fermentation environment is compromised. To mitigate this risk, modern producers must adhere to strict hygiene standards and conduct regular testing of their products. This includes testing the brine for the correct salt concentration, maintaining clean production facilities, and ensuring that the cans are sealed properly. Another challenge in sur strumming production is managing the odor. The strong smell of fermenting herring can permeate the surrounding environment, making it difficult for producers to operate in densely populated areas. Many sur strumming factories are located in remote regions and specialized ventilation systems are used to control the spread of odors. Sur strumming is not just a food, it's a tradition that has stood the test of time. From its humble origins in the 16th century to its modern production in high-tech facilities, the art of making surströmming remains deeply rooted in Swedish culture. While its pungent odor may be off-putting to some, for many Swedes, surströmming is a cherished delicacy that evokes memories of family gatherings and summertime feasts. The production process, though complex, is a testament to the ingenuity of early Swedes who discovered a way to preserve fish using minimal resources. Today, with the help of modern machinery and strict quality controls, 
Sir Strumming continues to thrive as a unique and celebrated dish in Sweden and beyond. Whether you're a seasoned fan or a curious foodie, Sir Strumming offers an experience unlike any other, a journey into the rich culinary traditions of Sweden, where history, culture, and food converge in a can of fermented herring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the bell for more fascinating food stories. Your support helps us uncover the rich history and culture behind every dish. We can't wait to share more captivating stories with you in our next video. Until then, remember, beyond every plate is a story.